In this video, I'm going to be playing for you guys all of the Season 5 radios that only include Maxis and Dark Aether this time around, but nonetheless, they are still incredibly juicy and have some pretty significant implications for the future of this story. But regardless, if you guys do want to collect these radios for yourselves and among those radios all the rest of the other intel, I'll be making a video very soon on how to get all the intel. So if you guys aren't, you know, stay tuned for that. And also if you guys want to check out previous radios from previous seasons and maps, there'll be a link to a playlist on screen right now. But regardless, I'm going to be quiet already, but if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, definitely do all the normal YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff, but I'm going to be quiet. I'll let you guys enjoy these radios. Wake up. Wake up. Where am I? Where's not so? You will answer our questions. Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What is your name? Fuck you. Where were you born? Kiss my ass. Your name is Samantha Maxis. You were born in Berlin, November 5th. Is that correct? Is that correct? I don't know. Everything is different now. Oh, I know that better than you. Where am I? You're in Block 8. A facility specifically designed to take care of people like you. Take care of people like me? You're here to undergo some specialized tests. What kind of tests? You'll find out soon enough. The Dark Aether changed you in many ways. I just need you to know how much. You don't know anything about me! Leave me alone. No. We've got work to do. Oh. You going to electrocute me again? I really hope it doesn't come to that. <sighs> what do you want? I want you to show me some of your powers. Weaver and Grey both saw you do it. Why should I miss out? <sighs> what are you talking about? I want you to move something. Using only the power of your mind. If you come down from behind that glass, I'd move something, all right. Oh, I was worried you'd be like this. Why can't we just get along? I promise you, what I'm doing is for your own good. You're insane. Maybe. But I know what you're capable of. I just want to see it for myself. What if I don't want to? That would force me into the regrettable position of having to use more severe methods. Is that a threat? No, not a threat. Just an incentive. Hello, Mr. Director. Oh, you heard me come in. You're very perceptive, aren't you? Do you know how long you've been here? <sighs> Not counting bathroom breaks and mandatory exercise. Fifteen days. As of today. And still no breakthrough? What kind of breakthrough do you want? Your only goal seems to be trying to make me angry. But I'm not. Just disappointed. You're probably going to be more disappointed when this session is over. You do know that none of them really care for you. Strauss, Carver, Weaver, even Gray. They've barely inquired. 
required as to your current situation. <laughs> That's not true. They wouldn't want me to be here. We, we are just trying to manipulate me. Test my emotional responses. Like you did with them? Do you even know how much trouble you caused for your Requiem friends? Going behind their backs on your little secret squirrel mission with Ravenov? I looked Weaver in the eye when I was taken to be brought here. He didn't want this. You like him, don't you? Not in the way you think. We just have history. Shared history. Shared trauma. You wouldn't understand. I do understand. In fact, I was very forgiving about the whole thing. I mean, given Weaver's failures and lapses in security, I could easily have had him disappear. Don't test me. Maybe I still should. I'm warning you! What on earth could you possibly do to me? You really are just a pathetic, sad, little, lost... been a long time. I can hardly remember before. There is only now. And now is not the time I would wish upon anyone. This place has changed. It is unsustainable. Many bow before one. Those who do not are consumed. The rest of us, we cower in shadow. Some manage to escape, but the crossing between worlds is dangerous. They arrive home disfigured, changed into fiery demons, horrors devoid of humanity. I hear they are killed almost instantly, when all they wanted was to escape. But they were no longer human. So the good soldiers bring their suffering to an end. I hope you understand now what is at stake, my friend. The Forsaken. It wields a dangerous power. Yeah, no kidding. Valentina nearly cost us all our jobs. That and almost destroying the world. Next time we will not be so lucky. He has seen a demonstration of your capabilities. He will not make the same mistakes again. Hey, with any luck, we'll have him making all new ones, thanks to you. So, your commander has signed off on our proposal? Not just yet, but I'm making progress. We'll have you home before you know it, as agreed. And in turn, I will honor my part of the deal and help you kill the Forsaken. You have my schematics for the machine? That and the piece you built yourself. Listen, Zykov, I, I need to level with you. This is going to take some time to construct. Your design, it it's a technical feat. I've never seen anything like it. It's uh, overwhelming. This will take some time to wrap my head around. Your transparency is why I know you are the perfect man for the job. You respect the science and difficulty of the task. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. You are wise not to treat this lightly. 